Hello, Dolomites. You're pretty. Today, Nina and I are going to be climbing our first European Via Ferrata in Cortina, Italy. Since we are guides in Jackson Hole, Wyoming this past season, we're very interested to see how the climbing compares to that in the U.S. Welcome back to JX Nina. Before we get into today's episode, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for helping us reach 1,000 subscribers. It's a huge milestone for us and we couldn't be happier. The next step in order to start getting paid by YouTube is we need to reach a certain amount of watch hours. Right now we're at 3,000 and we need to hit 4,000. We wanted to make sure that you guys know that each and every second you guys spend on our videos goes towards helping us out and making our dreams come true. And because we are so excited about hitting our goal of 1,000 subscribers, if you stay tuned, at some point throughout this video, we're going to be announcing a giveaway to thank you guys for being with us from the beginning. Back to the video. This is me and my baby driving stick in the Dolomites. Nothing, nothing <laughs> better than that. Just ripping turns and not stalling out or anything. Learning stick in the Dolomites. He's a pro now, though. My nerves are slowly subsiding. Yesterday was a really great day and helped redeem this week in the Dolomites for me, starting off with the bad rental car situation. That's not to say I'm not still nervous about driving driving this car through the mountains. Today is our big drive day on the Great Dolomites Road over to Cortina. It's like an hour and a half on the mountain road. And we're 30 minutes into it now. We've hit probably the worst of the switchbacks and Jay's been totally fine. I'm just traumatized from the first day and learning to drive manual and all that came with that. I just calmed down enough to eat a banana. The mountains up here are nuts. Hello, Cortina. The drive was gorgeous. It's no wonder Cortina was chosen as the home of the 2026 Winter Olympics. After a pit stop in town to rent some Via Ferrata gear and get a route recommendation, we are off to the trailhead. You think we're going to climb that, Neen? I think so. Gotta make sure your hair looks nice for the Via Ferrata. No, I gotta braid it to put it in a helmet. Ah. <laughs> On the way, we realized we didn't have much water, so we had to ask a local shop if I could use their bathroom to fill up our bottles and my blood. I'm gonna say a little prayer before we uh, get on going. Weather permitting, our goal is to do three Via Ferratas here in Europe. One here in the Dolomites, which is today. One in Switzerland, when we're there next week, and one in France. So it's all weather dependent if we'll be able to do the other two, but at least for today, we're stoked we're getting to do this one, and then we'll compare them. How you doing? This approach? Brutal. Yeah, kicking your butt? Yeah, he said, oh, we said hike, and he said, no, no, just a walk. Just a walk. <laughs> <laughs> By anyone's definition, this is a hike. <laughs> There's a few other people up here, and they all got really serious hiking, climbing backpacks. And I'm over here with my $6 mini backpack from Amazon. <laughs> Jay's got his camera backpack. For those that don't already know, a Via Ferrata is a mixture of hiking and climbing, providing people like us a way to see beautiful spots that were previously only accessible by experienced climbers. Quick disclaimer for you guys thinking about doing a Via Ferrata while you're in Europe, it is very dangerous. So if you don't feel completely confident in your knowledge and ability to do a Via Ferrata in Europe, either don't do it or hire a guide. Speaking of guides, before we started climbing, Nina wanted to first teach us how to Via Ferrata. What is Via Ferrata? Via Ferrata means Iron Way. It was originated during World War I here in the Dolomites in Italy to help get soldiers through the mountains. What do you need to climb a Via Ferrata? Starting with harness. It's got these lanyards with two carabiners at the end. You have your helmet. Rocks fall. You definitely don't want to skip the helmet. Approach shoes. These are kind of like a cross between a running shoe and a climbing shoe. You want to pack with water. Plenty of water and some snacks. So once you've got your kit ready, you are good to climb. We rent stars out here in the Dolomites. We didn't want to carry with us and at the shop they helped us pick the right Via Ferrata for us and our skill level. Last thing before you get started is weather. We we're lucky today, blue skies, it's so nice out. We could if it was rainy, we wouldn't even consider doing it. So now you're ready to climb. Once you see a cable, you want to go ahead and clip in. See my carabiners right here? And we call this opposite and opposed. So we have one click facing out towards me and one facing in towards the rock. That's just in case one were to come unclipped accidentally, they both wouldn't. Once you see these little markers, you unclip one, one hand only, move it to the next one. You never want to have two hands and accidentally unclip both. 
super dangerous. We say three points of contact, both feet, one hand, always on the rock, and then this last hand you can use to clip and unclip. If you're always doing that, you'll never double unclip. If you're nervous, the best thing to do is clip early and clip often. You don't want to get much higher than your carabiners because then if you slip or fall, you're going to go for a zip line ride down the table so you hit the next one of these, where instead you could just clip high and you're not going to fall very far. Well, let's get climbing. Like a bug. Anyway, when I take a break, I always clip my backpack in just so it doesn't tumble down. Oh my, look at my lady. Let me clip in. <laughs> Back to the hiking, my least favorite part. <laughs> what do you think of this place? It's beautiful. Do you think it's as pretty as you? It's different. It's different. <laughs> But I was looking pretty good. <laughs> All the videos of me walking, you might think they're in slow motion, but they're not. It's just me. I'm really that slow. Oh yeah. That shopping handbag cart. Car yeah. You always call it the shopping cart. Yeah, it makes no sense. It's a handbag carry. It's a handbag carry, but I call it the shopping cart. No hands, pretty exposed. <laughs> <laughs> Second most beautiful view in the world? Maybe, maybe. It's pretty scary how small and vulnerable you can feel being up here on the rock, but it also reminds me what a gift it is that I get to live in a world filled with such beauty. like Angel's Landing. Not that it's really gonna make that big of a difference. After two hours, we were almost at the top. All we had left was to climb this sketchy ladder. All right. Over the top, over the front. <laughs> that wouldn't have turned out so good. So good. Hey, here's where the handbag is helpful. Ooh. Not the most sturdy ladder. <laughs> If you ever get lost up here, because you can't find trail markers, just look for little guys like this. It's called a Karen. They're trail markers, but have natural features. To the summit. Yeah. Insane. Ooh. Careful, careful, careful. A little geocache. Now we have a book to sign. All right. Better autograph it up. Gonna do our app symbol. No. How are they gonna know to like and subscribe? Not, it's okay. What? Put the subscribe button in there. Not happening. Sign it. Jay gave me this summit. What do we do at the summit? Lots of waz, and we try not to freeze our A words off. Any animal vids besides our kitties. Oh, oh yeah, he's bobbing. Yes, yes, buddy. That's that's what yes. we want. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Christmas. All right, you guys have been patient enough. Because we hit 1,000 subscribers, Nina and I decided that we are gonna be giving away three copies of our favorite card game called Attack and Defend. We've been playing cards nonstop throughout our entire trip, and we wanted to give you guys this game so that you could enjoy it as much as we have. Here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna pick three winners from the comment section down below for everyone that answers the question, what kind of videos do you want us to make? We believe that because you guys are our first 1,000 subscribers, you should have the biggest say in what kind of content we create going forward. Here are the giveaway rules. You can enter up to three times. The deadline for entries is December 4th and prizes will only be shipped if they're within the United States. Then in our next video, we'll announce who won. About to descend 3,000 feet in 2.5 miles. Because we need to return our rental gear before the shop closes. And then I need dinner out. The hummus and bread from the grocery store is not going to cut it tonight. <laughs> As always, my cold little Nina was eager to get down, but man, I could have been up there for hours. basically walking down a black diamond right now. It's so steep, nothing holds. I can only imagine skiing this in the winter. That'd be so fun, but walking it, that's where we climbed, that's the descent. We're about an hour into the descent. Our car is down there. Nina is right there. She's not super happy, especially because she just had her first fall, but she's okay. So we found a nice trail that we were really enjoying walking on and we were getting ready to be done. And I had a feeling to check the map and we were definitely off trail. So now we gotta find a way to get through all this so we don't have to backtrack. The car is in sight. No longer steep, slippery rocks, just s steep. Oh no. I realized I'm matching with the trail marker for 20. Cute. We just made it down from the hiking trail. We can see our car and are so excited about it. The Via Ferrata? was awesome. It was honestly pretty challenging and that made it really fun. It was long, so definitely felt worth it for renting the gear today, but the hike down was the worst hike I've ever done in my life. <laughs> and so I've really hated some hikes. Jay might disagree with me, but that was awful. Six and a half hours later, we're back at the car. On the to-do list for the rest of the night, return our gear, then get dinner, and then check into our hotel. And if they have a jacuzzi, which I think they might, maybe a jacuzzi. <laughs> I literally just got squeezed to death in this door. Oh, my hair is a disaster. We just checked in for like a kind of nice hotel looking like this. And then they told us we got a free upgrade to Lakefront. On this trip, we've been so discovering dark. that Nina isn't quite as skilled at using keys and dealing with locks. But we still love her anyways. You did it. Do you want me to? Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. It's big. Now that we're at the hotel, we had to rush to the store real quick to get some supplies to make the famous Hesty Turcos, according to Jordan. Chow these down before our pool and spa reservations, which we're already late for, but it closes at eight. We need to finish these up and then head on down there and cooze it up as long as we can. We have to wear swim caps to get in. Oh yeah, pretty aerodynamic. Their spa facilities looked very promising, but unfortunately, looks can be deceiving. We were both pretty disappointed, but at least we scored some sweet four euro matching swim caps. What's going on? We paid four euros, so I have to enjoy it. I thought I really just wanted to go back to the room. Oh, this is not what you see. Oh, it's so cute. 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 Oh,
<laughs> you look like a whale. <laughs> yeah, Norka. Despite our difficult hike down from our Via Ferrata and our lukewarm jacuzzi experience we had, Nina and I absolutely love Cortina, Italy. And we continue to fall head over heels for the Dolomites. It's crazy to think that 13 months ago, we posted a video thanking everybody for helping us reach 100 subscribers. That video also happens to be our most viewed right now at 15,000. Our next big goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers, which sounds absolutely crazy to say, but so did the thousand and here we are. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave it a like and enter for your chance to win your own copy of Attack and Defend. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.